Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be looking at Irish Dragon's Den, and you may be asking yourself, what is that? Well, if you're familiar with Shark Tank, the thing that came before it was the British series Dragon's Den. And after all of those came Irish Dragon's Den. Ireland has a knack for taking a series and making a worse version of it, but it's based in Ireland, so we all watch it anyway. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened here. I'm on their... Ah! Ah! I'm injured! I can't record today! I don't know if you can see that or not. Hold on. It's not focusing, but I assure you there is a semi-visible mark from me hitting my hand there. So if you could like and subscribe, it would just make me feel a lot better. I'm on the Irish Dragon's Den uh, YouTube channel and I'm just seeing their thumbnail is so much better than mine. Look how dramatic this is. Some of them are really weird. Like, look at this. One. Look at his face. Satan has sent me to steal your invention. <laughs> this reaction. Oh my God, their faces. Oh God, look at this. Whatever this invention is, I am assuming it causes instant orgasm. Jesus Christ, I cannot resist clicking on that one. Look at it. It's terrifying. Students pitch Hickman line. Covers help children with discomfort. Okay, first of all, does that even make sense? <laughs> and second of all, that thing is not gonna help. The lines which the girls' covers are designed to house are used for the administration of important medicine. Gavin wants to know more about how the cover oh, work. Oh, okay. No, this is actually a good idea, actually. But why is the dummy so feckin' terrifying? Oh, yeah? Uh, how much? <laughs> Sorry, but it's just like... I, I, that was like the British version or like any other version. <laughs> it would have been like, this is a great thing you're doing. I, I absolutely love it. Can I just get down into the business side of things? Can we discuss like the cost price and what you expect to sell them for and what your gross profit is? The Irish one is just like, how much? <laughs> Individual packaging. So the parents know that they haven't been used before and that they are clean. Yeah, you know, that's a concern, so, I mean, you've done all that, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's fantastic. I just get the feeling, like, when they're talking, like, the dragons I'm talking about here, the, the five rich people who are sitting down with their stacks of money judging these people, I just have a feeling they don't know what they're talking about, and they're trying to bluff their way through it a bit. Yeah. What do you want to use the 2000 for? Uh, a sewing machine would be the main aim that we would Wait, like. how much are they looking for? What do you want to use the 2000 for? 2000? Is that all they're asking for? Okay, they don't say it at the start. The show is probably like they're asking for so little, this will look really bad if we actually say it. So I, I'm curious how much, because if they are just looking for 2000, this is ridiculous. Like, you're a feckin' multi-millionaires and these two young girls are trying to make a difference. Just give it to them. Captions look like this, so... I, okay, thanks. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Um, girls, I think what you've done is, is really really thoughtful and inspirational. For me, just I think that it, it's it's not scalable enough and I'm going to declare myself out. It's not scalable enough for her, apparently. 2K is too much for her, even though she's got like 50 on the desk in front of her. I think I think what you're doing is, is, is very good and I would like to make you yes. uh, an offer. Yes! Good man! Those charities, I think that is the route that, that, that you, should, you should go and I think they would adopt you. Oh my god, he's gonna adopt them. This is turning out even better than expected. But I think it's the time that he's investing, so big respect to him. He's our favourite one, whatever his name is. We're gonna call him Beardy. <laughs> I need a more Irish thing. I want to see a farmer up there, like with a new crazy invention, like a potato, but like a smart potato that like tells you when to eat it or something. <laughs> something wild. <laughs> god, I should be a dragon. I, I need something strong here. I need to see someone get investments because it's crushing my soul right now so i went for it you're selling sperm in a bottle over the internet in quotes i think this could be a strong one he just walks into the room and he like starts unzipping <laughs> i'm out i'm out <laughs> me too <laughs> just a bit about my own background i've been breeding pedigree cattle at home okay thank god it's for cattle <laughs> oh yes beardy's here he's gonna invest he loves it he'll buy your sperm in a bottle right now <laughs> Right here, right now, cash, untraceable. <laughs> the research that you've done and how you how you picked these six genes. If you walk into a bear and there's a hundred girls in it, you don't have to be told the 99 ones you don't like. You you know you know the one that you do like. What? I think when you're what is he talking about? I don't understand. Is he saying that like he goes into a field and he, he can immediately spot the cow that he really likes? Is that what he's saying? Like out of a hundred cows, he'll go like that one takes my fancy or you know, I'm not going to question him. Like, sorry for interrupting. Keep going. If I see an animal I like, the next thing I do. Is okay, stop. <laughs> Just stop. Okay. Just move on to the next part. Okay. Can you strip it back for me, dude? Okay. Why do you keep saying stuff like this? Stop it. Inseminates into his cow to get her pregnant and hopefully produce 
a genetically superior offspring. <laughs> Even the dragons are like, uh, this sounds a bit weird. <laughs> that slogan is feckin' amazing. Success breeds success. I'd invest for that alone. He's doing he's doing the Lord's work here. Oh, actually, no, he's he's directly against the Lord's work. <laughs> he actually wants to become his own god, and he controls the genetics and uh, and what uh, the breeding situation. You know what? This is getting a pretty deep. I I'm investing. I'm in. <laughs> I want a part of this the world you're creating. I'm gonna have like hench cows. They're gonna be feckin' massive. They're gonna be able to bench two other normal cows. Like I'm sure it's a normal business, but like as a, a layman, it just sounds so freaking weird. <laughs> right? Is it just you have a knife for them? Is that how it works? Or yeah, I, I I'd like to think that I've inherited from my father and grandfather. You know, Dave. Oh, that's a nice thing to inherit. Okay, I like that. Like I I got my height. Like I'm tall. From my my parents, but um, I guess being able to spot which which cow was genetically superior would have been it would have been in my top ten to be fair. That would have been nice to have, I think. The bull over here on the right, um, he's a bull called Perfect Storm. I actually spotted him when he was. What a name! Holy shit! That is an amazing name. Why didn't my parents call me that? Perfect Storm O'Reilly. <laughs> oh man, I would have been called me Perfect Storm. Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Perfect Storm. He's got great beef character, you know, of the breed. He's, he's up-headed, he carries himself. He, he's good looking and he knows that he's- <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, that is an amazing sentence about a bull. <laughs> he carries himself, he looks good and he knows it. <laughs> he's very beefy. For, um, he's very beefy, I agree. I want to be like that bull. I want to be beefy. He's a bull that really says, look at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to make fun of this guy because I'm sure this is actually a pretty good business. He's probably making a ton of money off this. Like, I know one thing, and it's farmers, shit tons of money. But, like, just from an outsider perspective, there's just something hilarious about a man saying that bull looks good and he knows it. <laughs> and you say, I'd like to, you know, buy some of Perfect Storm's perfect juice. <laughs> and then oh my god! I'm dying! Like, what? Oh, Jesus, I'm not gonna add anything. We're just gonna keep going. There's still- I'm only, like, halfway through this. Okay, keep going. Ta talk about his perfect juice more. Do you have a returns policy? What? <laughs> what? What is that kind of question? It's 40 euro. And how can you return it if you- I think you need to learn about the bulls and the bees, mister. But because I don't see any scalability in this business, because unless we get- your juice and reproduce you all the time. What? Why does he keep saying shit like this? I think he's actually really into it. He's weird. And <laughs> reproduce you all the time. Why does he keep calling it juice? <laughs> Just say sperm. It sounds uh, way better, actually. What you're doing is something is something different, but I don't see the science behind what you're doing, and it's also trying to get a business based on the. On Beardy is really smart. Like he sees the flaws in this guy's business, even though honestly, I do kind of believe him. That I think he could walk into a bar full of a hundred bulls, and he could find the attractive bull. I, I just believe him, alright? I think he's got a knack for it. But I understand where this guy's coming from. I think he knows what he's talking about. Nobody wanted to get their hands on Jude's bull semen. <laughs> Oh god, why did you have to say it like that? Oh, I'm disappointed he didn't get it. Like, oh, can I see an investment, please? Kevin claims that his range of gourmet sauces are a good example. I do. Kind of I do. They're a great example, trust me. Buy my sauces. Jim's Jam, they're called, which is confusing because my name is Kevin, but, you know, it's an inside joke. <laughs> they immediately just go, I'm out. <laughs> 45 years. Um... Oh no, he sounds really stressed. And... Oh no, um, I feel so bad for him, he's freaking out. Uh... We use all fresh ingredients in our sauces. Oh this is stressing me out, Jesus Christ! Oh my god, he's about to weep. There's gotta be a trapdoor underneath him. <laughs> you can see the hinges and someone's like going for the button. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> this looks so weird, this man just feeding all these people who are sitting down. He's like their caregiver. Hello, Kevin. Hello. <laughs> this is getting awkward, stop. I'd like to know a little bit about your career before you came to, uh, this new business that you've launched okay. with your partner. Well, you see, it all began with a dream. <laughs> I opened retail and then discovered the dream was a nightmare. So I ran in front of a car <laughs> and now I'm here. But I wouldn't know how to, how to help 
you bring your product further. So I'm going to graciously... Of course you don't. That's, you know uh, feck that's, all. That's, <laughs> what I do you guys even do? Gavin Duffy wants to understand the different ways they can be used. I mean, you just feckin' eat them, don't you? Oh, it's also quite a strong adhesive. <laughs> it can bond wood to brick. <laughs> I just see risk after risk. Okay, a bit weird. They were all complimenting it a second ago. I love your sauces. I think it's a slow burner. And for those reasons combined, I'm going to declare myself out. Thank you for your comments. They're just going out even though they're saying it's the best thing in the world. Uh, so I'm going to pass on it. What like. is their problem? They all said it was the best thing ever and then they just went out. <laughs> I don't think these people have any money, you know. There's Monopoly money on the table next to them. I'm out. Okay. Thank you all very- What was the point? <laughs> He's so nice, he had a good business, you all loved it, and you're like, nah. <laughs> Sorry lads, don't have any cash. <laughs> I still have my wallet and my other pants, I'm out, I'm afraid. <laughs> I went on to the next one, it says I demoted myself from the English Dragon's Den to the Australian Shark Tank, and now I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I think we're bottom of the ladder. Alright, lads, I have faith in you, please. Invent a robot that can cut my hair. <laughs> my name's Paul Dell. Oh god, I hope it's bull sperm. <laughs> Sorry, bull juice, bull juice. This is my partner, co-founder Tony Kelly. He seemed a bit ashamed to be your partner there. <laughs> a sports supplements. God, some of the zooms are just so uncomfortable in this show. What is exactly in this secret sauce that will make me even fitter? Bull and juice, lots of it. We found the perfect bull called Perfect Storm. <laughs> is not going to be a great degree of variance between our products. Bad answer. Should have just said bull juice, he'd be in already. <laughs> well, sales to date Ramona is approximately 3,000 euro. God, they sound so much more Irish than me, like all these people. And I'm 100% Irish, so at what percentage are they? 200%? 300%? How much do I get as the pharmacy retailer? Yeah, as the pharmacy, their their margin is twenty five percent. Yeah, so I didn't ask you that. How much do I get money? Uh oh, uh oh. Mm. Oh no, he doesn't know. Guys, okay, how much does it cost to make? Twenty three fifty euro. That's that. What are you gonna sell it to me for? Oh no. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How, how much are you offering? <laughs> <laughs> Generally across the range, it'll vary a little. 25% margin for the no, distribution. No, no. That's not what they're asking you. They're, you're gonna piss them off. Like, not that like they're gonna invest anyway, but it, it's just gonna be uncomfortable for me. Okay, so what's the 25% margin price? Oh, Jesus. Again, we're, we're probably selling them at, 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 at 42 euro. <sighs> They, they, they don't have a clue what they're talking about. What, what is going on, lads? That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. That's that's lower. For six that's years lower. That's again. Oh, Jesus. There's mad confusion going on. You know, th this is critical. So, I'm sorry. I, I'm out. I actually can't blame them this time. Like, if, if you don't know how much you're selling it for, to the distributor, to the pharmacies, to the customer, it's like, how are you going to get them invested in this? I tell you, they missed a trick on that bull semen. Guys, I'm going to ask you the same question again. How much do you sell it to me? Oh no, she's getting so annoyed. Much. Come on, you've had time to think. You can do this. To a, to a pharmacist, they will be banned at about 36, 37. Guys, uh, you just haven't clear about your figures. <laughs> <laughs> it's bizarre that you don't know your pricing the way you should know your pricing. I don't like the packaging, That's the SPN. You know, in this case, it stands for, <laughs> sorry, Peter's not investing. That those aren't the letters that add up to those four words. You're, you're missing a letter there. <laughs> He's trying to be clever. Peter may have some work to do on his acronyms. Yeah, yeah, even the narrator's like, what the fuck, dude? Oh, Christ. Well, I guess that's the end of that. Not really any investments there. I mean, I was happy the first one got it. I think we started on a high with that. That was nice. I, I was really happy for them. They're doing a good thing. But still, man, you, you missed out on the the bull semen. Well, I guess we'll end it there. I'm sorry I couldn't bring you more happy stories, but I think we learned a lot today, specifically about bulls, which was interesting. I didn't expect that today, but I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more Irish television, do let me know. I've got uh, two other shows that I'd like to show you, I think, uh, that might be a little bit more Irish. You know, we, we had a, a touch of Irish here, though, but the, a lot of the products weren't I Ireland focused, which was a shame. I think the one that was Ireland focused really shone through it. It really made me happy. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you did, and uh, I, I hope to see you next time as well i appreciate you watching as always folks and uh there's nothing else to say so um yeah bye for now <laughs>